Hi, this is Skid Kelly, and this is my video on a pull test to compare the wheels available for the VEX design system. We used the basic protobot base to carry out this test. A plastic lock bar was placed on each axle so the wheels could not spin, and a 5 pound weight was placed on top of the base. This brought the weight of the test platform to around 7.5 pounds. We started our test with the 2.85 inch Vexplora wheels. These and all the rest of the wheels for this test can be found on the www.vexrobotics.com products, accessories, motion webpage. When placed on the VRC foam field surface, it took six pounds of pull from the front before these wheels began to slide. This was the second best of all the wheels tested. From the side, it took six pounds of force. Diagonally, it took five pounds, 12 ounces before the tire slipped. Overall, these wheels performed at the top of the list. From the front, these big Omnis held back the most of all wheels tested before they slipped at six pounds, 12 ounces. As expected, there was not much resistance from the side with the roller wheels moving at 2 pounds 4 ounces. Diagonally, there was little resistance before the rollers moved at 1 pound 6 ounces. These small double Omnis also performed very well, with the front pole tying third overall at 6 pounds 5 ounces. The small Omnis did their job to roll easily from the side at 2 pounds 1 ounce. With a diagonal pull of 3 pounds 14 ounces, the small double roller Omnis had more resistance than the large, but this might serve well in a holonomic drive system. Single roller small Omnis required the lowest pull to start them sliding from the front at 4 pounds 7 ounces. The side pull required was the highest force of all the Omni wheels at 3 pounds 11 ounces and there was no appreciable difference when comparing this single roller small Omni to the 2.75 inch wheels when the 2.75 inch wheels have had the rubber tire removed. At 4 pounds 4 ounces from the diagonal, again there is no difference than the 2.57 inch tireless wheel. For this part of the pull test, we removed the 60 tooth gears from the protobot base so as to remove any chance of the gears interacting with the foam tile surface. These wheels were one of the biggest surprises of the test. In competitions, they always seemed to perform well, but they took a low 4 pounds 7 ounces of pull force to start sliding. A bit better from the side, but still 5 pounds 3 ounces. The diagonal pull yielded the lowest value of the non-omni wheels at 4 pounds 4 ounces. Not much holding force with these wheels. Only a four pound pole was needed to stop them sliding, the lowest of the test. At three pounds, 10 ounces, it looks like these could be used instead of the single roller Omnis for ease of side movement. At four pounds, seven ounces to slide, again, there's no difference from the single roller Omni wheels. Four pounds, eight ounces, these wheels fell right beside the 2.7 inch wheels for holding force. Not much different from the side at four pounds, 13 ounces. Nor from the diagonal at four pounds, eight ounces. This was by far the biggest surprise of the test. At 5 pounds 3 ounces, these 4 inch wheels without the rubber tire are the same as they are 
with a high traction tire on. A similar result was found from the side at 5 pounds 10 ounces and similar values diagonally at 5 pounds. Landing in the middle of the pack, the 4 inch wheels with high traction tires held back 5 pounds 2 ounces. And there was no difference from the side at 5 pounds 5 ounces. Slightly less pull was needed diagonally at 4 pounds 9 ounces. These 5 inch wheels were too big to fit on with the standard axle distance. So the test was repeated moving the axles out one hole on each side. But there was no major difference in the results. These big wheels tied for third place for the most force needed to stock them sliding at 6 pounds 5 ounces. A big pull was needed from the side to start sliding at 6 pounds 11 ounces. And likewise a big pull to start sliding diagonal at 6 pounds 9 ounces. A good pull was needed from the front to start these big wheels without the tire to start moving at 5 pounds. 5 pounds 6 ounces of pulling force was needed from the side to start any motion. And the last pull of our test requires 5 pounds 4 ounces. The results from this test are not meant to be an absolute, but to be used to encourage everyone to repeat this test and find out your own results. More information can be found at the simplerobotics.org webpage.